work with us today. And uh, as a session, you can see uh, it's like effective techniques for improving French. Uh, the technique that he has some of your first thing. Basically, it is focused for our students, all the students rather, who are like learning French, you know, getting nervous on the process, or moving forward, how to make it easier for them and, you know, get expertise slowly and slowly, slowly in the session. Uh, before starting the session, uh, I would request Professor Gopal to just say a few words and uh, thereafter we can start the session. And I want to thank uh, Marani once again for being here and uh, sharing her knowledge with us, with our students. Yes. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to introduce you all to this session organized by Professor Naviti and Dr. Marlene. Uh, I must thank uh, eSpace, oh, sorry, uh, French Space for giving us this opportunity to uh, organize such uh, exciting encounters with guests um, from outside the university. And I must thank Naviti to take the uh, responsibility with enthusiasm to bring us all these in insightful sessions. I hope students will make the most of it. Um, with that, without wasting time, let's go straight to Navriti's presentation. Um, and I will see you at the end of the session. Thank you. Uh, we also have uh, Professor Kathleen, Dean of uh, JSLH, who's been very kind uh, to take our time and join us uh, today evening in spite of having a very hectic schedule for her. And uh, we would really like her to come and say a few words, uh, encouraging words for our students who are in the process of learning language, and give a few lines as to how they could go about learning the language. Uh, Professor Kathy, over to you, please. Uh, okay, can you hear me? Am I yes. audible? Yes. Hello. Yes, yes, Professor Kathy. Okay, yes. good. All right, um, thank you so much. I'm sorry this is such a rushed day, but what a nice event. And I am absolutely thrilled to see the continuation of this series. Uh, the, uh, I will be very interested in les techniques efficaces pour s'améliorer en français. That will be really wonderful because I'll just tell you very briefly, when I studied French, sitting in the classroom in Paris was horrible, but I learned my French in the cafes and in the classrooms and attending lectures and being with friends. So that's always, you know, I think one bit of advice I could say is use your personal style. Uh, I have a lot of enthusiasm for this series. I'd like to welcome and thank uh, everyone who is here, because I, I think it's, you know, the COVID period put a stop to our communication um, with the embassy, the consulate, but I'm really happy that we have the opportunity to present more programs to our students, to our faculty, and to really carry out some of the plans that we had, learning more and different things about the French language, Francophonie. So I'd like to thank everyone and I'd like to encourage the continuation of this program. Thank you all so much. And I look forward to seeing you all in person one day at L'Espace France. Bye-bye. Thank you, Professor Kathleen. Very encouraging for our students. And uh, we move uh, forward with the presentation. As I said, that this is directed more towards the students who are in the process of learning French who started. And of course, we plan to move further. So I will be starting with the presentation, followed by on our uh, Madame Marie Nadeklu. And uh, as I said, very, very thankful to her to be with us, sharing such precious uh, knowledge, which is actually quite, going to be very beneficial for our students. So I'm going to do a little, you know, going to show you the little theoretical part as to how to go about it. And I believe uh, Madame Lachlan is going to show you much more practical things, which will really help you in the long run, followed by question answer sessions, of course, from the student side. So uh, just to begin with, uh, you know, very quickly, like, uh, we are basically following a common European framework, you know, for the students who plan to learn in the coming future or who are in the presence or, you know, in the current moment. And, uh, on l'objectif pour les étudiants, basically, you know, they are working on comprehension oral, which is very same, comprehension oral, comprehension écrite, comprehension écrite. These are the four main factors 
where you're supposed to concentrate on. And I would like to focus more on, you know, uh, uh, to be, uh, the sense where we really the initial moment and would like to have a piece of route as we come to go about it to work with the French. Now, of course, a little guidelines for like, uh, you know, let's say keep or ameliorate or throw compromise your plural, that's basically your different skills, which is one of the, um, you know, challenges the students can learn to face. So, certain guidelines would be like, edited in text, so it's still what you need to go for sick. So, if you're into A1 and A2, I would suggest you to, you know, listen to, you know, as many videos uh, as I've said here, you know, equity in text. He was answering which interests you when it comes to, you know, short films or maybe French songs or maybe you know, simple texts. And si vous ne comprenez pas, écoutez le texte plus et fois. So you have to make an effort, especially at the beginner's level, for the students. So I would like to ask you, how many times do you actually take the initiative to, um, to, to listen to the video? How many times? How many times do you make an effort? I have students that are sitting in front of me and I would like to ask them, how many times do you make an effort to listen to any short videos or anything? How many times? Whenever we are free. Yeah. And in class when the videos are played. Yeah. So do you listen once, twice, thrice? Um, five to six times. Yeah. So this is something, you know, it's, it's a regular practice. That's what I mentioned now very clearly. Singular component, but écoutez le texte plusieurs fois. You have to do that. Concentrate, choisissez un endroit silencieux pour l'écoute. You have to choose a silent place. It's not possible to hear in a very loud noise area. So you really require focus. And of course, possibility of the utility of sous-titres. This is something we have always been guiding our students in the beginners level. Try to use subtitles. This is something actually you should avoid. But if it's too hard, you can always use subtitles. You know when you're watching short French films or listening French songs. And also, as you see here, we've got uh, the YouTube channel. In the YouTube channel, we are all using, and there is something called, I don't know if you're aware about it, but this is something I found very helpful for the beginners because usually they say it's too fast. So if you see here, there is something called as an icon, icon se parametro. There's an icon which, with which you can slow the volume, you can reduce the, 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 the speed you know, according to your level. So this is something which I felt is very useful and you can use it at your end to work on it. Then of course, écoute régulièrement le français, which is something you need to do every day, uh, you know, at least for a half an hour, 15, 20 minutes, maybe for one hour. And of course, ne s'arrête pas, continue, that is something you have to continue, si vous ne comprenez pas. Very important, do not stress yourself. And autre value as you have to continue doing, I don't know how many of you are available about the transcripts here. How many of you are aware, aware that behind your books, like you have some books like Connexion, Apropos, Alter Ego. How many of you are aware about that there are transcriptions at the back of the book? And what do you mean by transcriptions? What do you mean by transcripts here? Have you ever heard what is a transcription? Have you ever referred to transcriptions? What is it when you, what, what do you mean by transcriptions? Um, yeah. Someone, so, I mean, an audio is played and it has been translated side by side. Yes. So it's a very good idea at the beginner's level. You can listen to transcriptions. If you're listening to something in your book, I would encourage you to please use your transcriptions, which makes it a little easier for you. You can listen at the same time, read, but should not make it a habit. So you have certain books I've mentioned here, like Conexio, you've got Apropo, you've got Alter Ego, certain guidelines I've given to you, which you can do at your end. And of course, I've given you certain resources, like you've got a lot of YouTube channels, where these are certain resources, you've got A1 and A2 level. You can uh, listen to these, you can practice from here. And of course, you've got Radio Only, FR. You've got a lot of uh, Madame Martin will be showing you something practically uh, how the radio channels and all are, I believe, and you can have a look. But these are little sources which I've given to you. You have Radio Only for FL. You've got different kind of radio channels which you can listen to them. Then you've got the Quant You Flow. Again, these are like listening sources. You've got Platia. You've got Podcast. You've got Grafable. These are like different links where you can do your listening practices. So this will be very helpful for you. Followed by, I've given you, this is your book box French for the students. You've got a variety of short films here. And uh, you can go on like Tini and Pepe, Le Bon, with subtitles. 
So you can work on your French with subtitles. You can, uh, you know, learn vocabulary. You can work on your, uh, you know, pronunciation, etc. Then, of course, uh, you have your production oral, which is basically a major challenge for uh, for the uh, students because they always have a question. How many of you are comfortable when it comes to oral speaking? This is a question for the students. How many of you are comfortable when it comes to yes, Arun? Yes, sir. How many of you are comfortable? What are the challenges you are facing when it comes to your oral? The main problem when we speak is our pronunciation. Mm -hmm. okay. And how do you how do you how do you work on it? What are the techniques you use? By, this, by listening to the professor who mm -hmm. speak those sentences again and again by understanding the video by seeing the transcription and this. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And do you take the opportunity to speak to someone, partly or for say, or like class or friends? We yeah, we try to speak with that's really good. So, I've given you certain guidelines here, like Pakhle for civil and class, having for Gamala, both of course. The biggest thing is do not hesitate to speak in French. This is the thing which I always say do not hesitate, hesitate. Pas. Nothing back there, there's error. Please don't be afraid of errors. And of course, you have to throw my list, you go through vocabulary. That is the most important thing. You need to work on your vocabulary, your grammar. And also your expressions. You can have a look at it at the site. I'm giving you a source, which is Patrick in French. You have a lot of expressions for oral, which will help you to improve your French. So please do that. After that, you have particular shadowing. Are you aware about what is shadowing exactly? Have you ever tried it? Do you even know what it is? Anyone? So this is basically Kimitia Natifa. You can listen to certain oral, uh, you can listen to certain videos online and you can try and speak with them. You can listen and then you can speak and then you can hear back again just to see how you pick up. And of course, uh, I have, uh, there are certain activities for your oral. So I have two students with me right now, uh, just to give you a little demo. Uh, if uh, Utra and uh, Ritwik, if you can just give a little demo to us how you have been working on your oral? A quick demo, please, with the flashcards. Um, hello, Professor. Can you see me and hear me? Yeah, um, yes. You can give, give a quick demonstration to the students how you have been working. Because now you're to level three, how you have been working on your orals. A quick demonstration which our students can also do. Be open to challenge. Um, quick. Ritwik, can you see? Can you hear me, Ritwik? I don't think uh, Ritwik has been able to join us, but uh, anyways, uh, Utra, you can begin probably I can just the demonstration to the students for uh, what is flashcards and how to go about to work on the orals. Um, okay, so one way of doing this is you can make flashcards. So I've uh, made something like, can you all see this card? Can you all see the screen? These are your flashcards. Amongst yourselves, you can prepare small flashcards. You know, you can have a picture of a house, a picture of a school, a picture of a tree. Can you show the little flashcards that you can do? Yeah, so this is, uh, so I'm going to describe this, Ilya um, Belle Maison. Yeah, so you so, can do it amongst yourselves. Yes, when you're in the class, you can show a flashcard to your friend. You're learning French. You can ask the person to describe what it is. Yes, go ahead. Um, can you see this one? Yes. So can you see what is this? Um, it's an hour, but then you can you can explain it further through flashcards to each other. So yeah, yes. Ilya, uh, Long Grand Order. Yeah, and what would be the third? Could you please repeat that, Professor? And what would be the third? The third okay, flashcard. So, uh, in the uh, third one, I have a word written. And um, I'm going to make a sentence with this word. Uh, yes. J'ai visité mon école avec mes amis. Yeah, so the basic purpose of the flashcards is you're all in the learning process. When you're free, you can make some flashcards with some pictures or some words. And you can ask each other questions, which will encourage you to speak oral and verbal over and of course, uh, there is uh, something which I have mentioned is called uh, a vocaloo. I don't know if you're aware about this activity. What you can do is you can record your voice either on a mobile or this is a vocaloo is a recording uh, software where 
where you can just read aloud to your French, you can record it, you can learn it, and you can work on your pronunciation, your, uh, you know, your, uh, your pronunciation, your uh, linkages, etc. And then, of course, uh, Comprehensive Greek, which is again a very big challenge. It says, Lise Soko Guzantares. So please read as much as you can for your Comprehensive Greek, whether it's your Shubnal, Bon Zizine. Beginners, I would prefer that you begin with Bon Zizine. Are you aware of what is Bon Zizine? Your Bon Zizine are your comic strips. I have given a variety, I have suggested a variety of comic strips here. You have, there are many which are available online. You can also visit audience sources in Delhi. And there are lots of uh, books available for you, whether comic strips or for you at the beginner's level and advanced level, intermediate level. And comic strips are, are a really good idea for you to learn French because you come across dialogues, you come across day to day language, there are pictures, you know, uh, there's a clarity. You can really pick up the day to day language. So I've given you sources for the uh, uh, for your uh, comprehensive fleet, and uh, and of course uh, after that you have been followed by if you see here I will give you some literary works and there is a very good website which is called archive.org. There's a lot of material for reading. It's not just for reading. You also have the listening for reading. Please refer this website archive.org. There's a lot of material. It's a huge source which you can use for your for your French even at the advanced level. And of course, that's but not the least, you have your public suet creep, which is another challenge. Um, I would always say that please keep writing, write a lot as much as you can. You can always write, you can give it to your prof for checking at the same time. You can, uh, you know, you can probably work copy in a text. What I would always advise is if you have a text in front of you, you can always recopy it, write it, see the grammatical structure, you know. The, uh, the formation of, uh, you know, the kind of vocabulary used. So it's a very good way to do that. And last but not least, in the end, you have your uh, certain applications. Of course, Duolingo is very famous, but I did search one, which is your Facebook in 50 languages app. This is a free app. It's a very good app. What I felt, there are lots of, uh, there are lots of sentences in, in past tense, in present, in future, which you can use it for yourself. Uh, you can listen to the sentences, you can work on the pronunciation, you can, uh, whether it's past, present, future, and you can always repeat it after. So it's a very good app, it's, it's a free app like a Duolingo, but yeah, there are many apps like Guzu and Drops, which, you know, they are on payment. But to begin with, you know, it's a huge source, so you can go for this. So these are the little guidelines which I thought uh, would be very helpful and I wanted to share from my end with students. And uh, now I uh, give it over to uh, Madame Catherine, uh, Madame Marlene, and Marlene, you can continue. Merci. Merci, Nabriti. Bonjour à tout le monde. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, je vais parler en français, puisque uh, vous apprenez le français et que vous avez envie de vous améliorer, de progresser en français. Je vais parler lentement pour que tout le monde comprenne. Mais vous allez voir, ça va être très facile. Alors, euh, hop. Alors, pour progresser en français, vous devez garder un esprit ouvert. You have to keep your mind open. Puisque vous apprenez une langue, mais pour apprendre la langue, vous allez aussi apprendre la culture. Et donc, vous allez devoir observer, regarder avec vos yeux, il faut que vous soyez curieux et que vous posiez des questions, il faut poser des questions, il faut parler, échanger avec les autres et puis expérimenter ou vivre des expériences. 
c'est très important puisque si vous êtes curieux, si vous regardez, si vous écoutez, si vous échangez et parlez, vous allez progresser. Mais alors, comment faire J'ai une question pour vous, si certains veulent bien répondre. Je voudrais savoir quels sont vos centres d'intérêt ou quels sont vos loisirs. Autrement dit, Qu'est-ce que vous aimez faire Qu'est-ce que vous aimez faire Ça, c'est une question. Oui, qu'est-ce que vous aimez faire Je veux dire, comment vous aimez faire Non, Marie, votre question, qu'est-ce que vous aimez faire C'est ça Oui. Oui. Yes. Oui. Qu'est-ce que vous aimez faire, aimez faire Par exemple, moi, j'aime regarder des séries à la télé, j'aime cuisiner et j'aime coudre, faire de la couture. Et vous, qu'est-ce que vous aimez faire J'aime jouer au football et snooker. Je n'aime pas regarder la télé. J'aime jouer la piano. D'accord. Donc, vous êtes intéressé par le sport, le football, et puis euh, par la musique. Peut-être que vous aimez les chansons aussi. Vous aimez les chansons est-ce que vous aimez chanter Vous aimez chanter, classe Vous aimez chanter Oui ou non Oui, professeur, oui. Oui, okay. très bien. Super. Alors, je vais vous proposer des activités pour tous les centres d'intérêt. Pour ceux qui aiment regarder la télé, pour ceux qui aiment chanter, pour ceux qui s'intéressent au sport. Donc, il faut... Well, I will say it in English, maybe. You have to find uh, some resources which are uh, related to your hobbies. Because if you... Let's say, I, me, I don't really like sciences. I'm not interested in sciences. But if I only get sciences articles, of course, I won't be interested in reading them. And I won't improve my uh, French language because I don't want to read sciences articles. But if you give me an article about uh, sewing or about stitching or uh, cooking, of course, I will be very interested uh, because I would like to discover and I will be curious and ask lots of questions. So, on peut commencer. La première chose, vous connaissez toutes et tous le site TV5 Monde, j'imagine. I think you all know TV5 Monde. Euh, je... Donc, TV5 Monde, vous avez la partie ici, langue française. Et quand vous cliquez sur langue française, vous pouvez trouver des activités pour découvrir le français, jouer avec le français et apprendre le français. Essayons apprendre le français. Ici, vous avez des activités pour les débutants, for beginners, pour les locuteurs élémentaires intermédiaire et avancé. Et puis, vous pouvez faire des activités, par exemple ici, écouter, regarder et faire les activités. Le thème, c'est sur le logement. It's about uh, flats and uh, homes. Donc, vous voyez, il y a beaucoup, beaucoup d'exercices 
où vous pouvez vous entraîner pour écouter et pour comprendre à l'oral. Ensuite, euh, est-ce qu'il y en a parmi vous qui aimez les séries à la télé J'espère que oui. Alors, si vous aimez les séries, if you like series, uh, I'm pretty sure that most of you have Netflix or Amazon Prime or like some OTT platforms. J'ai fait la sélection. Uh, I found a few French series which, uh, from my opinion, are the best. So you can listen them in French and use or not the English subtitles or use the French subtitles to make sure that you really understand and work on the pronunciation or even listening without the subtitles. If you want to train, you don't have to watch the full episode or you can watch it if you're interested, but then you can try with a of a scene, a short scene uh, or a short part of an episode and watch, let's say, two minutes. First, with English subtitles, second time with the French subtitles and third time without any subtitle. And that way, you will improve your uh, capacity of understanding the natural French language from native people. So my favorites, Call My Agent, I'm, I hope you, like, you know it, you have the Indian version, but the original is French, the French title is uh, 10%. Then you have Planker, it's a romance about uh, young people in Paris. Il était une seconde fois, it's a little uh, sci-fi, I would say. Then you have Maito, it's about a mother who is uh, seeking for the attention of her family and uh, to make sure that people pay attention to her, she starts uh, telling lies. So it's kind of uh, funny. And then you have Le Bazar de la Charité in the early 20th century in Paris, very interesting for the history. I have selected for you also another one, which is called Extra French. This one you will find on YouTube. And uh, it is especially made for French. Oh, this is the ad. I will let the ad go on. Okay. This uh, series is especially made for French learners. So let's start with five minutes. Well, you will uh, discover it on your own. It's like a small soap opera with a few characters. Very easy to understand. You can settle the subtitles here. I don't know if you can have the subtitles. And uh, well. You will try, otherwise, otherwise, very easy to to understand. Then, if you like to uh, listen to the radio, and uh, if you are interested in uh, politics, let's say, or what's happening all over the world, you have RFI Radio France Internationale, and uh, in RFI, dans RFI, vous avez RFI Savoir. Et il y a des activités sur les informations, activities about the news, the daily news, and you can choose your level of French if you are A1 or A2 or B1 or B2. And you can listen to a short part of the news and then do the exercise. If some of you are uh, practicing to and um, trying to get ready for DELF exam, It, this one is very interesting for you. Then, for those who like to sing, and I think if you want to work on your pronunciation, 
singing is a very good way. Il y a le site Diversity. Ce site vous propose des chansons françaises, francophones, que vous pouvez écouter, des chansons modernes, it's actual songs, and uh, you have uh, this one maybe for the teachers, but if you want to look at it, you have a... Uh, uh, Do you say educational kits also for every song? You have songs for adults, and uh, you have songs like let's say for uh, actual artists like uh, Agafi, Swan Massey, uh, Enzo, Sophie Sharp. All those uh, artists are francophone, so they're not only from France but from the francophone countries. Then, a good way to improve your French is to read. But what do you want to read? Uh, I told you that I was interested in uh, cooking. If you want to explore French cooking, you have a good website here, which is marmiton.org. And uh, you will find recipes in French, of course. And you can make them for your family. Okay, I guess. This one is not working very well, so let's do it on Firefox. Uh, c'est un site internet en français, puisque c'est un site, parce que c'est un site français. Et vous pouvez choisir, par exemple, le gâteau au chocolat, mon préféré, ou la crème chantilly, ou vous pouvez choisir, par exemple, euh, le couscous végétarien. Vous allez choisir la recette. Vous avez des images. Très facile en plus puisqu'il y a l'image, une boîte de pois chiches, des carottes, quatre carottes, quatre tomates, tous les ingrédients, les ustensiles, la poêle, la marmite, le four et puis les étapes de préparation. So, if you want to impress your family, you should try to cook something, a French dish. Okay, let's go back then. Si vous voulez lire des journaux sur l'actualité internationale, vous avez courrier international avec des articles courts traduits en français depuis la presse du monde entier. Ceci est aussi très intéressant pour tout le monde sur différents sujets. Et enfin, si vous aimez jouer, vous avez des sites où vous pouvez développer votre vocabulaire et jouer avec les mots en français, le Scrabble en français, et vous avez même aussi, uh, maybe you know that new game Wordle in English? Uh, do you know Wordle? Maybe not, maybe yes. You, it's that uh, daily game where you have to find a word in five letters. This game exists also in French. So you can type Wordle en français. And every day you will have to find a new world, a French world. Marie, peut-être tu peux taper, tu peux taper, tu peux écrire. Oui. Wordle en français. On va essayer ensemble. Je vais essayer de trouver le mot du jour. C 
c'est un peu long. Je vais essayer avec Firefox. Ah, beaucoup mieux. Alors, on va jouer. Est-ce que quelqu'un connaît un mot de cinq lettres en français Yes, anyone? Un mot, cinq, cinq mots en français. One word. Ouais. Ça, c'est règle, ça va? R règle? Ouais. Ouais. On va essayer. Alors, dans le mot, il y a le mot, la lettre R, la lettre E, à une autre place. On peut essayer un autre mot? Ouais, stylo, ça marche. Ok, c'est un mot qui commence par S avec la lettre R et la lettre E à positionner ici. Mmh. J'ai pas entendu. Un autre mot avec S Moi, je dirais par exemple euh, série. Essayons celui-ci. Alors, c'est pas ce mot-là. Oui. Si on essayait sucre. Ah, presque. S U, c'est un mot qui commence par S U. Ouais. Non, J'essaye encore et la sueur. Mm -hmm. Et voilà, j'ai gagné. La sueur. Et si vous ne connaissez pas le mot, sueur, la sueur is the sweat en in English. So every day you have a new word that you have to find. So you can play once a day only. So it doesn't take too much time. And like Actually, I will tell you something. I do the same for me every morning in English. So if you want to try, it's up to you. Voilà, j'ai terminé avec ma présentation. Euh, Navriti, je vais te l'envoyer. Comme ça, vous aurez tous les liens pour, Merci. Les, pour, tout, pour partager avec les étudiants. Merci beaucoup, Marie. C'était très enrichissant pour nos étudiants. Et maintenant, uh, students, uh, if you have questions, I request you to please put uh, it here and I can put it forward. Si vous avez des questions, yes, online, en ligne, à présentiel, if you have any questions, please go ahead. Yes. And you can write it in the chat box as well. Yes. Oui. How can you quickly grasp the pronunciation rather than listening to the English? Okay, on a, on a une question, Marlene. Uh, ça c'est uh, en ce qui concerne la pronunciation. Oui. Il y a des étudiants qui disent que comment on peut améliorer notre, notre pronunciation rapidement, en fait. Rapidement. How quickly, how, quickly can we, how quickly can we work and improve our pronunciation? Ok. Uh, il faut, alors, la chanson. Prenez des chansons, chantez. Mm -hmm. Puisque la chanson, ça va vous obliger à articuler, à écouter les sons. Ensuite, euh, il faut, comme disait Navriti, il faut imiter mm -hmm. les Français, les natifs. Par exemple, quand je parle, vous m'écoutez, 
vous pouvez très bien répéter ce que je dis pour essayer de parler comme moi. Merci, Marlène. So, as uh, Marlène a said, uh, you can imitate a native. That's one of the very good best ways to do it. And uh, yes, other question, please. Yes, are Yes, uh, on a, on a question on the chat box, uh, Marlène. Oui. Uh, what are uh, the... What are... Pardon. What are some of the things that you used to improve your French outside of what you have already told us? Uh, to improve my French, the thing is that uh, I'm a native, so I'm not sure that I... But, uh, okay, let's, uh, let's uh, speak about uh, me learning an, a foreign language, uh, for example, English. To improve my language, I have one solution is to be in contact with a native and uh, a native who doesn't speak your own language. For example, you have to find a French person who can speak maybe a little in English, but not so much so that you will have to speak in French with that person. Now, It's very easy to be in contact with some with people all over the world and even to speak to them because we have uh, WhatsApp, WhatsApp video. You can make like voice messages also. So and do not hesitate. Uh, of course, the best way would be to travel. But if you don't have the money or the time to travel, try to find some French people in India. Go to the Alliance Française. To the events of the Alliance Française, you will find uh, French natives uh, be in contact with the uh, Canadians, the Belgians, like whatever francophone nationalities who are in India, try to connect to them and speak French with them. This will be the only way. And uh, yeah, I guess uh, there is a... No surprise and uh, no miracle. You have to work and practice and practice and practice. You know, uh, me before coming to India, I was speaking English, of course. I could understand English, but I was very scared of speaking in English. And uh, now I can speak to you in English, even if my English is not perfect. It's not a problem because I'm sure that you understand what I'm say, what I'm telling you. So this is sufficient, and this is how I improved my language. So speak, 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 speak. Parler, 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 et parler. Merci, Marlene. Est-ce qu'il y a d'autres questions? Uh, we have students only online. Yes. Anyone has any other question? Please go ahead and ask. Uh, yes. Any other question, please? We have online students as well. In class, anyone has any question? Professor, I have a question. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, um, because that because you are not a native francophone speaker, how did you uh, train yourself to you know adapt to the French accent and everything? Uh, me, I am a friend. I am a native. No, no, I, I'm in, I'm in Professor Nabil. Ah, okay. Sorry. Uh, well, uh, uh, as Marilyn has rightly said, that uh, the premier shows who practice in France have to speak in French all the time. And yes, you have a lot of patience, a lot of patience. You really have to work on it every day. Écoutez, écoutez le français. Ça c'est très important. You know, vous écoutez la radio, les chansons, regardez les films, vous faites le chatouet. The more you conduct with the language, and I've been always stressing this in class and to the students, every day, it's an everyday effort. It's not just a two-hour effort in the class, it's an everyday effort. You have to take a half an hour to one hour every day from your studio that yesterday I have to do I have to listen to, you know, a song or maybe watch a film, regarding a film, etc. You have to be in touch with the language. 
as you are with your, you know, your Hindi, your English, instead of conversing, you know, having a conversation in, in English or Hindi, if you have friends, you know, who are learning French with you, try and take out time to converse with each other on a dinner table or amongst yourself, or for say, parler or for say, you can always correct each other. So that is the best way. Parler en français, écoutez le français, mangez le français. This is the only way you can do it. There is no other way out. And uh, this is the best way. Yeah. Merci, Professor. And any other question, please? Aussi, je voudrais juste ajouter. Uh... I would like to add uh, Action New uh, TV5 Monde, Apprendre le Français. Uh, you have a lot of short, small exercises also uh, to improve your grammatical skills and uh, to improve your vocabulary. Because sometimes we have some difficulties to express ourselves because uh, we lack vocabulary. And uh, so read and uh, the repetition also is very important. This is how it will fix uh, your memory. And uh, also it has to go through emotions. I always remember I was learning Arabic language and uh, my teacher was teaching me uh, the word uh, to beat, like, you know, to frapper. And I could never um, uh, remember the name until the day he beat me, not very hard, of course, like uh, it was a joke, but it made me laugh. And after that, I could remember. So because I had that emotion of surprise and, and laughing with him, uh, I could remember that, uh, that word. So try everything, the taste, the, the smells, your eyes moving also with your body if it helps body can help us also body movement for uh, the pronunciation and try to to see how we do with our mouth to pronounce the the words uh, there is a question for you i think uh, is staying in france for a period of time to study the language in order to learn comprehensively one more, I think. Okay, uh, I'm not sure to understand. Is staying in France for a period of time to study the language in order to learn comprehensively? Uh, a word is missing, no? Uh, staying in France for a period of time to study. What, what, what exactly is the question, Adil? I was trying to ask if it would be a good option. I think I didn't complete the good option. To stay, uh, and to ask, is staying in France for a period of time a good option? Okay. Or, or... Oh, yes, of course. If you, if you, <laughs> yes, yes, of course. Uh, you know, if you go to France, uh, well, if you go to Paris or in big cities, people will speak in English, but the main language in the street will be French. And even in Paris, people will be surprised if you start speaking to them in English. Everyone in France speaks French. We have one language, it's French. So uh, from if you stay in France, even if it's for a short time, even if it's for one week or two weeks, you will see that you will improve your language because you will have to use it. You will have to struggle to buy a coffee, to buy uh, your bread and uh, to ask for your way in the metro. Like, so yes, like uh, go to France or to Belgium or whatever speaking French country. Yeah, yeah, go. Of we course. Have, uh, the students are really enthusiastic. We have two more questions coming up your way. Yeah. Is it important to understand grammar first or can we speak French directly too? I think you can speak French directly for the basic words. Uh, but after some time, uh, Yes, you will have to go through the grammar, but go through the grammar and understand it, it to, to know why, uh, but you have to know why you use the, for example, the past tense. I use the past tense because I want to tell a story. Uh, I use uh, the conditional because I want to express uh, a possibility which has, of which I'm not sure. So, Grammar has 
to make sense for you. It's not just like to know uh, how to conjugate a word or how to make it like the gender or the numbers like, but you know, you need to know why you do that. What is the, the communication or the meaning of the sentence that you want to pass or to give? Uh, there are similar sounding words in the language that many times do pose the difficulty in understanding. How would you suggest overcoming that? Well, uh, I guess it's with the practice and the context. If you understand the context, you will understand uh, the different words. Uh, for example, uh, I don't know about the word. I don't. Exactly. I don't have any word that comes to me right now. Very uh, welcome. Ver. 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 We similar sounding words in language. So many times you put it in ver. Yes. Oh yes. So, uh, mon livre est ver. Okay. Mais je vois dans un verre. Ce sont deux mots. Donc, mon livre est vert. Je vais écrire. Mon livre est vert. Et on écrit la couleur vert. V-E-R-T. Mais je bois dans un verre. Une glace. Et on l'écrit V E de Z R E. À l'oral, it sounds the same, but the context you will understand it. You will understand the meaning through the context. So by practicing, you will understand. But I understand that it's difficult. It can be difficult. I'm sure that in Hindi you have the same. Uh, no. I don't, I, I think we won't have, have the gender thing like apna, apni. We have, I don't remember that. Do we have any words? I don't think. To, to some extent. To some, to, like, for example. For example. Aapka, aapki, pretty. So, no, but similar, similar words. words no? Similar words. I, I don't think. Sure, sure, sure. No? Okay. Cool. Maybe not. Any, any other question, please? Any other question online? Recording. Recording. Yes, any other question online? Anyone? Then we can just close the session. Yes. Ok. Alors, merci beaucoup. Euh, J'étais très contente d'être avec vous. Je parle un peu en français pour que vous écoutiez le français. Euh, j'espère que on se reverra bientôt et j'espère pouvoir venir vous rendre visite directement à Sonipat. Vous êtes à Sonipat, hein, c'est ça Et alors, juste, je voudrais juste ajouter. I would just like to add, if you want to uh, leave the French culture and uh, be in touch with French, come to Delhi in the coming days. Uh, go on our website efindia.in because uh, we have our festival Bonjour India lots of films, concerts dancing shows everything come you are welcome to join us for the festival thank you, merci Merci beaucoup, Marlene. C'était très, très enrichissant. Et je, je suis suivi des étudiants. On profite beaucoup. Hein? You are really, really going to have a session. And I would like uh, Professor Gopak to do a kind of say a few words and we can just uh, close the session. Thank you. First of all, thank you both for such an interesting and interactive session. And taking the suggestions of Marlene, may I request students uh, to go to the website and find out if there is anything interesting which you would like to visit. So the things can be arranged from the language center to take you uh, to Delhi if at all possible. Of course, we have to find out whether we are having these tours now or not. If at all it is possible, then we can take you uh, to these tours if they are physical tours. Right, that's first thing. 
Second thing, uh, you have all been asking so many questions about whether grammar is important, whether speaking is important. Now, let me give you a piece of advice here. Uh, first of all, you need to understand why you are learning the language. Everyone has a purpose in learning a language. Some people may think that, okay, I want to get a French scholarship to study in France. In that case, yes, grammar is inevitable. You have to learn it. You cannot pass any exams without knowing grammar. Now, if you want to enjoy French movies, do you want to know grammar? The answer is no. So you need to um, just watch the movie and enjoy it and slowly and steadily you learn the language. So now the thing is that some people may think that, okay, if I stay in France, uh, there was a question, I can learn French. You can learn French uh, only if you have French friends. If you're going with a gang of Indian friends and then uh, you're hardly communicating with outsiders or you are communicating as a group with uh, you know, French people, perhaps your communication will not improve because uh, there's no need to improve, right? So the thing is that there are so many conditions and so many contextual factors which uh, come into play when you learn a language. Uh, there was another question, how long does it take to get an accent? It depends on how much you are immersed in the language. If you have a French wife, I'm sure you will learn it in one month. So the thing is that it all depends on your intentions your attitude towards the language and your ambition or your goal. So before you uh, come and you know, when I ask students why you want to learn French, oh, we like the language. Liking the language is not enough. Maybe in the first semester, all of you are doing two semesters and you will like the language because you are getting good credits. But if you want to go ahead and if you want to really make a mark in knowing the language, because see, any foreign language will look very good in your CV. Any foreign language. So, and when you are knowing French, you meet a French speaking person, which you will meet them all over the world, mark my words. French speaking people are all over the world and they are considered as the most cultured language and the cultured people. So, you know, when you are writing in your CV that I know French, you're already making a statement about yourself. So live up to that statement, whatever it means. If you want a scholarship, Yes, go for grammar. If you want to know movies, go for that. If you want a French friend, go for that. But whatever you want, you have already got your four credits and you have already got your space in your CV for French language. Now it's the time to look forward and see how much more I can gain from this. Right. So now I think I'll leave you with a thought for tonight that, okay, think for yourself, am I learning French? Right. With that, Thanks a lot, Navriti, again. And I really appreciate your enthusiasm and excitement about making French so very popular in the GU community. And thank you, Marlene, once again. You have never said no to any of our requests. And we hope that this cooperation and this friendship will continue with you. And we would like to welcome you in our campus as soon as possible, uh, maybe at the end of the semester, if everything goes well. It would be my pleasure. I will yeah. definitely come. <laughs> I'm looking forward. Yes, yes. Uh, so that's all from my side. And thank you, students, for your enthusiasm. Keep it up. Make us good teachers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Marlon. Thank you. Thank you. Au revoir. Bye. Bye. Bye.